Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, welcome to the online pericyclic reactions course. Okay. So today we will try to solve some of the questions related to electrocyclic reactions. So before doing that, so let us quickly recollect what we have discussed in the previous class and also quickly uh, recollect the Woodward Hoffman rules proposed for the electrocyclic reactions under different conditions that is thermal condition and also in the photochemical condition. So, in, uh, in uh, analyzing the pericy pericyclic reactions that is electrocyclic reactions by using frontier molecular orbital method, so we have to largely depend upon the homo molecular orbital of that particular individual. So, what are the molecules we are going to see in the electrocyclic reactions means the molecule should be an acyclic conjugated unsaturated system. So, in that acyclic conjugated unsaturated system first thing is you need to identify the homo molecular orbital if you are trying to analyze uh, the reaction pathway using the frontier molecular orbital theory right and the homo molecular orbitals will have a different symmetry under different conditions for a same molecule under thermal condition the homo molecular orbital will be chosen from the ground state so, it will have a different symmetry. Under photochemical conditions, the homo molecular orbital must be chosen from the first excited state and of course, it will have a different symmetry, right. So, symmetry will help you in fine, uh, com completing the reaction, in completing the reaction and understanding the rotation modes, either con mode of rotation is needed or this mode of rotation is needed can be easily known after knowing the symmetry of the homo molecular orbital. If the homo molecular orbital is having C2 axis of symmetry, C2 axis of symmetry, then con mode of rotation is allowed. If the homo molecular orbital is having sigma plane of symmetry or the mirror plane of symmetry, so this mode of rotation is allowed. So then how do you know this C2 axis of symmetry or the sigma plane of symmetry for a particular molecular orbital means with the number of nodes, by knowing the number of nodes, you can easily see how many, uh, what is the uh, symmetry element of the particular molecular orbital. If the number of nodes is odd in number, odd number of nodes are there for a particular molecular orbital, then the odd number of molecular orbital uh, nodes will help you to see that the molecular orbital is having C2 axis of symmetry. If a particular molecular orbital is having zero number of nodes or an even integer of nodes, even number of nodes, so then it will have the mirror plane of symmetry, mirror plane of symmetry. So Woodward and Hoffman, after analyzing so many examples of mole molecules for the electrocyclic uh, reactions, both the ways, so electrocyclic ring closing and also electrocyclic ring opening reactions, they have framed some rules which are called as selection rules for the electrocyclic uh, reactions under FMO method, FMO method by FMO method. We will quickly see that selection rules and then we will start interpreting the electrocyclizations, electrocyclic reactions. So based on these selection rules. Woodward Hoffman rules are 
selection rules for electrocyclic reactions. So first thing is you need to identify the number of pi electrons involved in it and therefore categorize the molecule under uh, 4n pi electron system or 4n plus 2 pi electron system. So first thing is number of pi electrons involved. So based on this the molecules are categorized as 4n pi electron systems and 4n plus 2 pi electron systems, right. So the next one is the number of nodes of that particular molecular orbital, number of nodes if present. And then the mode of rotation, either con mode is allowed or dis mode is allowed. And finally, we need to see the con mode of rotation is allowed in thermal condition or in the photochemical condition, okay. So, mode of rotation and then see the thermal condition and photochemical condition, whether it is allowed or not. So, for a 4n electron system, 4n electron system. So, if the number of nodes, if the number of nodes are odd in number, odd integer. So, odd number of nodes if present, then con mode of rotation is allowed. Then con mode of rotation is allowed. So, the mode of rotation is con. Where it will be allowed means under thermal conditions it is allowed. Whereas, if in the 4n electron system, the number of nodes are odd and the mode of rotation is con, it is forbidden in the photochemical conditions. For the same 4n electron system, if the number of nodes is either 0 or an even integer. So then, this mode of rotation is allowed, this mode. So for 4n electron system with a zero number of node or even number of nodes, this mode has to be performed and uh, while performing the this mode, it is observed that it is allowed in the photochemical condition whereas forbidden in the thermal condition. Similarly, for 4n plus 2 pi systems, pi electron system, if odd number of nodes are there, if odd number of nodes are there for 4n plus 2 pi electron system, right. So then the mode of rotation will be con only, but it is allowed in the photochemical condition. It is allowed in the photochemical condition and forbidden in the thermal condition. For the same 4n plus 2 pi electron system, if the number of nodes is either 0 or an even number, then the mode of rotation you need to perform is this mode which is allowed in the thermal condition and forbidden in the photochemical condition. So please keep it in mind that for a 4n electron system, if the number of nodes is odd in the homomolecular orbital. So we are not calculating or we are not bothering about the number of nodes in the other molecular orbitals if you are following the FMO method, right. So number of nodes for the homomolecular orbital, let be specific. So this is for the homomolecular orbital, right. Hmm. 
Now see, so if the number of nodes are odd, then the mode of rotation one should perform is con. So if you perform the con, it will be allowed only under thermal conditions, right. If the number of nodes is either 0 or even integer for the homo molecular orbital. So then this mode of rotation has to be performed and when you perform the this mode of rotation, it shows that under photochemical conditions only this mode is allowed, right. Similarly, for the 4n plus 2 pi electron systems, when odd number of nodes are there in the homo molecular orbital, then con mode of rotation has to be performed and it is allowed in the photochemical conditions only. Now, the same system 4n plus 2 pi electron system, if the number of nodes is even, then this mode of rotation has to be performed and it is allowed in the thermal condition. So, you just see where all the things are allowed. So this is the selection rule for the electrocyclic reactions based on the frontier molecular orbital theory. So look at that table where we have simplified the selection rules for 4n, con is allowed under thermal conditions, this is allowed under photochemical conditions. Whereas for 4n plus 2 pi, this is allowed under thermal condition and con is allowed under the photochemical conditions. So just remind that, so therefore we can solve based on this selection rule, we can solve all the electrocyclic reactions involved. Let us start uh, the problems with a simplest one. Then after that, we will try to understand the stereochemistry in the simpler uh, unsaturated systems, conjugated systems. Then we will move on to the complex uh, examples where the electrocyclic uh, reactions has a crucial role, right, to be understood uh, clearly, hmm. right. So if you have a simple molecule unsaturated system, this is an acyclic conjugated unsaturated system. This on electrocyclization via a cyclic transition state will be giving you a cyclic molecule which is cyclobutene. As long as you see only the hydrogens at the terminal carbon atoms of the conjugation, all these four carbon atoms are involved in the electrocyclization via the cyclic reorganization of this pi electrons to give you a new sigma bond, right. So this is the new sigma bond. And now here you have nothing to be worried about the stereochemistry because the hydrogens, both are hydrogens at the terminal carbon atoms, right. So this is what you will see. How do you analyze this? This is a 4n electron system. So therefore, the molecular orbital which acts as homo for this under thermal conditions, so under thermal conditions for a 4n electron system where the molecular orbital will be psi2 which is homo. So the homo is psi2. psi 2, right. It is an even molecular orbital, even number molecular orbital, right. So if it is even number, the number of nodes, how many nodes you will see? n minus 1, that is 1. If the number of node is odd, which mode of rotation is allowed in con, uh, sorry, in uh, thermal condition? Yes, absolutely. Con mode of rotation is allowed. So under thermal condition in a 4n pi electron system where the homo molecular orbital is psi2, 
in which the number of nodes is 1 which is an odd number. So, you will have to perform con mode of rotation in order to facilitate the conversion of the pi bond into a sigma bond which is allowed under thermal condition right. So, let us see this. So, this is this psi 2 molecular orbital, psi 2 molecular orbital means it should have one node. So, the node will be seen in between this. So, let this blue color be representing the positive wave function of this lobe and then this pink color be giving the negative wave function of that particular molecular orbital, right. So, the number of node is odd number therefore, con mode of rotation we have to perform. Let us see whether this is going to work out for us or not. So, if you want to perform the con mode of rotation that means, the terminal carbon has to be rotated by 90 degrees. I have started at this first carbon atom and rotated it by 90 degrees in clockwise direction. What do you mean by con mode of rotation? Both the termini should be rotated in the same direction, right, yeah. So, if I rotate this one also in the con mode of rotation, rotation, clockwise rotation. So, what is happening here? This positive wave function is slowly coming in this way. And then this positive wave function which is lying down is slowly coming in this way. So, both the positive wave functions are combining with each other. Therefore, it will give you the bonding mode of interaction. So, it gives you the bonding mode of interaction. So, this is what we will see after the con mode of rotation. Right. So, this gives you the bonding interaction and hence it is allowed. Right. As simple as that. So, this example we have seen in the previous class also. So, now let us add some substituents at the terminal carbon atoms and see how the orientation of the substituents. Uh, attached at the terminal carbon atom of the conjugation with respect to the stereochemistry, right. So, look at this question, which mode of rotation is required to convert the 2 z comma 4 e hexa 2 4 diene into cis 3 comma 4 dimethyl cyclobut 1 ene. So, what is the condition they have given in its ground state? So, if they have given this indirectly they are asking you to perform the reaction under thermal conditions, under thermal conditions. First of all, write the exact 
structure, stereochemical structure of this 2Z4E hexa 24 diene, right. So, it is a hexa means 6 carbon atoms are there and double bonds are there at the second carbon atom and the fourth carbon atom. So, therefore, what is the stereochemistry here before the reaction in the open chain molecule means 2Z. So, this is 1 CH3, this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 6, right. So, cis orientation is there between 2 and 3 carbon atoms and then trans is there between 4 and 5 carbon atoms. So, 2Z, 4E, hexa 2 comma 4 diene. So, it has to be converted to, it has to be converted to a cyclic molecule where cis interaction is seen between these two methyl groups, right. This is CH3, H, H, CH3. So, this is the product, right, cis 3 comma 4 dimethyl cyclobut 1 in is the product. How do you arrive at this position to the product? What mode of rotation is to be performed here, right. So, by simply logically as we have seen in the last class, we understood that if the substituent groups are on the same side, if they are looking on the same side, on con mode of rotation, you will get the groups in the product also on the same side, right. If the groups are in the opposite sides, on con mode of rotation, in the product after con mode of rotation, in the product as well, you will see the groups in the opposite side. If the groups are on the same side in the reactant molecule and if you are performing the dis mode of rotation, then the same becomes opposite in the product. If the groups are opposite side in the reactant molecule and if you are performing the dis mode of rotation, then in the product you will see the groups on the same side. So, that has to be there, uh, we need to recollect that before doing the reaction. So, therefore, tentatively we came to a conclusion like con mode of rotation is required. How do you prove it? Let us go through the reaction now. So, this is a 4n electron system, 4n pi electron system. So, how many double bonds are there? Two double bonds are there and uh, four sp2 carbon atoms are there. Therefore, definitely four molecular orbitals, pi molecular orbitals must be there. And as this is in the thermal condition, as this reaction is happening under the thermal condition, in a 4n electron system, first identify the homo molecular orbital. What is the homo molecular orbital here under the ground state? So, psi 2 is the homo molecular orbital, very good, right. So, for psi 2 molecular orbital, how many nodes you will get? You will get number of nodes n is equal to 1, n minus 1, right. Number of nodes is equal to 1, which is an odd number, right. So, if odd number of nodes are there, what mode of rotation is allowed as per the selection rules? Of course, yes, correct. Con mode of rotation has to be performed, right. So, therefore, con mode of rotation you have performed. Therefore, the product is here with the cis relationship. So, this is cis isomer, okay. If for the same molecule, if you are doing the reaction in the first excited state, that means under photochemical condition, what happens to the homo molecular orbital? So, homo molecular orbital is no more psi 2, it is now psi 3 after the excitation of an electron from psi 2. So, psi 3 becomes the new homo molecular orbital. So, the psi 3 molecular orbital has two nodes, right, 3 minus 1 that is two nodes. 
So, 2 is an odd number. So, if sorry even number. So, 2 is an even number. Right. So, if even number of nodes are there in the molecular orbital, homo molecular orbital of course. So, this mode of rotation is to be performed. Right. So, this mode of rotation has to be performed. So, I am simply changing the question in its first excited state. Right. So, this is again a 4n electron system, but the reaction you have to perform under photochemical condition. Therefore, the homo molecular orbital is psi 3. This is the homo molecular orbital. And the number of nodes is 2, which is even. So, the old mode of rotation should be this now, right. And the orientation of these methyl groups in the final product will be trans. So, here also the question also trans, right. So, what happens now? When you perform the disc mode of rotation, the same side groups are there here in the reactant molecule. When the groups are on the same side, when you perform the disc mode of rotation in the product, it comes in the different sides, opposite side, right. So, this is the trans relationship. You can also work out by changing the stereochemistry. So, let us see this question now. So, you have to discuss the reaction condition required that is whether thermal condition or photochemical condition and the mode of rotation and symmetry of the uh, electrocyclic reaction for the conversion of octa 2 comma 4 comma 6 triene. So, this is a 2 comma 4 comma 6 triene into 5 comma 6 dimethyl cyclohexa 1 3 diene, right. So, if in the uh, question, if they give you structure like this, do not be panic. So, just see that this is a trans relationship here in this double bond that is E, here is cis and again here is trans. So, we already learnt in the previous class that whenever the conjugated system is showing the terminal carbon atoms far apart from each other that is in the transoid form. So, electrocyclic reactions are not possible. It does not mean that those molecules will permanently not involve in the electrocyclic reactions. Definitely they do involve in the electrocyclic reactions. In prior to that, after absorbing some amount of thermal energy, those molecules will perform the carbon-carbon bond rotations such that it comes into the cissoid orientation, right, cissoid form. So, after coming into the cissoid form, when you see all the pi electrons are in conjugation, continuous conjugation, the energy of the molecule decreases drastically. So, when the energy of that particular molecule decreases, it attains the higher stability, right. So, therefore, any molecule of this kind is similar to this kind of arrangement. Only thing is you need to specify the stereochemistry across the double bonds, right. So, this is Z. So, whereas here it is E that means trans. One is this side and this is side. So, this is E. And again this is E. Trans. So, this is exactly the same of this one. Whereas, in this case, you will get a chance for the delocalization of the electrons continuously from this carbon atom to this carbon atom, okay. So, there are different uh, stereochemistry based upon the orientation of these methyl substituents. We all, we see 
one after the other. If the methyl groups are on the same side, what happens here? This is E, Z and Z. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 carbon atoms are there and therefore 2 E comma 4 Z comma 6 Z octa 2 comma 4 comma 6 triene is the molecule. So, for this molecule you can also take this. So, this is also same. So, on uh, uh, reaction it will give also the same product. So, this is Z, Z, E. So, if you want to perform a photochemical reaction or thermal reaction that is electrocyclic reactions. Let us start with the thermal process under thermal condition. So, under thermal condition. What is the electron uh, uh, array here? So, 6 electrons are involved. So, it is a 4n plus 2 pi system. For a 4n plus 2 pi system, right, where the homo molecular orbital is identified as psi 3 and number of nodes are 2, which is even number. Just recollect when you have the even number of nodes, what is the mode of rotation allowed? So, this mode of rotation is allowed because even number of nodes will give this molecular orbital C2 axis of symmetry. So, C2 axis of symmetry, it has C2 axis of symmetry. So, that means if you look at the terminal lobes, so this is the molecule. For example, if we are uh, So, uh, just assume that we are taking only into the consideration the terminal lobes of the molecular orbital psi 3. So, this is psi 3 molecular orbital. So, number of nodes is 2 and it is having C2 axis of symmetry. Yeah. So, this is how the terminal lobes of this psi 3 molecular orbital look like, which is having two number of nodes. The nodes will be in between uh, C3 and C4 and another node will be between C5 and C6. So, perform the this mode of rotation because as per the selection rule, we got an information like, so this mode is allowed for this system, yeah. So, this mode of rotation. So, when you rotate it clockwise 90 degrees, this positive lobe is coming into this here and then when you rotate this anti-clockwise on the other end, this positive lobe is coming here for bonding approach. So, therefore, you will get a bonding mode and then the product will be like this. So, it is a hexadiene, it is a hexadiene and then coming to the substituents, here the substituent is looking towards my left and this substituent is also looking towards my left only, right. So, when it is looking towards my left, on 90 degrees clockwise rotation, the substituent molecule will come down, right. So, if it is looking towards my left in that direction, on clockwise rotation, how it is coming? Downwards below the plane and the same here it is looking towards the left as per me and then on anti clockwise rotation anti clockwise rotation what is happening it is coming up above the plane so that means 
one methyl group is coming down and then the other methyl substituent is moving up. So, you will get a trans relationship here. This is trans. 5 comma 6 dimethyl cyclo hexa 1 comma 3 diene 1 comma 3 diene right so that is the product so the same reaction if you are asked to perform under photochemical condition so what is going to happen so everything changes so the same molecule this one we are taking ah, under photochemical condition this is a 4n plus 2 pi electron system and the homo molecular orbital should be chosen from first excited state homo will be psi 4 is the homo and number of nodes for this molecular orbital is 3 which is odd number. So, under photochemical conditions, therefore, we perform the con mode of rotation. Let us again try to see the orbitals this way. So, as this is psi 4 molecular orbital. We will get to see the lobes at the terminal carbon atoms of the homo molecular orbital in this way. So, the positive lobe on con mode of rotation is coming uh, down and then this is also undergoing the con mode of rotation. Therefore, both the positive lobes will end overlap end on end and results in the formation of a sigma bond. right? So, that is bonding. Therefore, you will get a hexa diene for sure as in the case of previous example. On con mode of rotation, so what is happening here? The methyl group is in this direction at the both terminal carbon atoms. So, when we are performing the clockwise rotation, so it is moving and uh, looking at the bottom by 90 degrees if you rotate. The same thing if you perform the con mode of rotation, this methyl group is also moving down the plane, below the plane, right. So, that means both the methyl groups are coming in the same side. See H3, H, H, CH3. So, cis mode of interaction is seen in the product, cis interaction is seen in the product, right. So, this is under photochemical condition. So, the reverse case will be seen under if the groups are opposite to each other on the terminal carbon atoms. So, then what happens? So, on con mode of rotation, you will get trans relationship in the product. If the groups are opposite to each other at the terminal carbon atoms, under this mode of rotation, you will get this is or relationship and the product. How do you get this product? For what? Let us see. A similar kind of example, where the hydrogens are replaced by deuterium. So, of course, we can see now the stereochemistry involved. So, this should be converted into where the same side groups are there and then you are asked to 
d h h how do you change this is the question first thing is you need to identify the number of pi electrons involved so this is 6 pi electrons therefore 4n plus 2 pi system right so for 4n plus 2 pi system as you can see under thermal conditions this mode of uh, rotation is allowed under photochemical conditions con mode of rotations is allowed right hmm. now so this molecule will undergo the reaction to give that product in two different steps the first step is electrocyclic ring closure reaction and the second step is immediately it undergoes electrocyclic ring opening reaction right so if it can perform the ring closure under different uh, conditions with different uh, rotation mode of rotation and the same ring opening reaction for the product of the first step so under different uh, conditions with different mode of rotation you can change the stereochemistry at the termini right so first let us do thermal uh, photochemical conditions so this is a 6 pi electron system that means 4n plus 2 pi system under photochemical conditions which mode is allowed con mode is allowed so what we are doing in the first step is con mode of electrocyclic ring closure so what you will get you will get a six membered ring you will get a six membered ring because 1 2 3 4 5 6 six carbon atoms are there with continuous conjugation so all of these three pi bonds will involve in the electrocyclization right so when the groups are on the same side and if you perform the con mode of rotations at the termini what happens in the product so the groups will remain on the same side only right yeah now from here you are getting the groups on the opposite side that substituent deuterium on the opposite side and definitely you have to do the ring opening reaction ring opening reaction electrocyclic ring opening reaction so when the groups are on the same side which mode of rotation will make you get this product with the groups on the opposite side of course yes so when the groups are on the same side if you perform this mode of rotation so then you will get to see in the product the groups facing opposite side each other right so this mode of rotation has to be performed and again this is having six electrons six pi electrons are involved and it is categorized as 4n plus 2 pi system so for a 4n plus 2 pi system with this mode of rotation under what condition it is allowed if you see the table so 4n plus 2 pi system under thermal conditions this is allowed right so it is the thermal condition you have to perform this mode so then you will get this product so synthesis of vitamin d3 so uh, we are all thought that when you go in the sunlight so the skin has melanin which absorbs the sunlight and it transforms the precursor molecule of vitamin d3 that is 7 dehydrocholesterol the 7 dehydrocholesterol which is a precursor molecule for the vitamin d3 so into vitamin d3 right so this conversion of the 7 dehydrocholesterol into vitamin d3 strictly follows the pericyclic reactions right see the beauty of the pericyclic reactions which is involved in a within our body 
right. Of course, there may be some, several other pericyclic reactions happening inside the body and this is uh, the one of the important pericyclic reactions occurring inside the body, right. So, the 7 dehydrocholesterol undergoes electrocyclic ring opening reaction, undergoes electrocyclic ring opening reaction to give you a pre-vitamin D3 molecule. That pre-vitamin D3 molecule immediately isomerizes, so isomerizes by shifting the hydrogen from 1 to 7 carbon atom, carbon 1 to the carbon 7. So, again that shifting happens via an, a cyclic transition state. So, it is proceeding under thermal conditions via a cyclic transition state with the help of the conjugation, right. So, complete flow of electrons. So, therefore, that step is also an electrocyclic reaction. Of course, we have not discussed the shift of the groups or shift of the bonds which is sigmatropic shift uh, uh, which is other type of pericyclic reactions now. So, that is also a pericyclic reaction. So, with the help of pericyclic uh, chemistry, you can understand the synthesis of D3 vitamin in the body from the precursor molecule 7 dehydrocholesterol. So, 7 dehydrocholesterol will look like this. CH3, so two double bonds are there in the ring B and then this one, so methyl group is there again here as a substituent. So, this is 7 dehydro cholesterol. So, what happens in this molecule is on absorbing the light H nu, this is a 4 n pi electron system where these 2 pi bonds and this sigma bond is involved in the electrocyclic ring opening. So, for 4 n plus 2 which is mode is allowed, con mode is allowed. So, under con mode of rotation, so it opens up OH So, how it is opening? So, this sigma bond is converting into pi bond and this is going here and this is going here. So, what is happening here? So, you will get a double bond, new double bond here, one more double bond here and another double bond here, right. So, this is the precursor for vitamin D3. So, this molecule under thermal condition shows 1 comma 7 hydrogen shift. What is 1 and what is 7? So, look at this. This methyl group is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, entire pericyclic reaction is happening within this area. Right. So, from 1 that is the methyl carbon atom, the hydrogen is shifting to the 7 carbon atom. So, it is shifting from here to here. So, how it is happening? Again via the pericyclic reaction. So, this hydrogen 
is moving by converting this sigma bond into the pi bond. This is moving here and this is moving here and this one, this electrons are taking up the hydrogen. So, what you will get in the final product that is vitamin D3 is OH is there double bond. hydrogen methyl another methyl group this so this is vitamin d3 right so, this is 7 d hydro cholesterol where initially electrocyclic ring opening is happening and 6 pi electrons are involved in it. So, under photochemical condition, so it has opened up the ring here and in the thermal condition immediately this molecule is undergoing isomerization. So, isomerization there is no change in the molecular formula, but of course, there is a change in the structure. So, one of the hydrogen at the first carbon atom is moving to the seventh carbon atom via the cyclic transition state. So, therefore, you will get to see this molecule here which is vitamin D3, right. So, in the next class, we will discuss some more examples uh, where fused systems are formed, right. So, bicyclic systems are formed due to the electrocyclic reactions. So, and the ring opening of this bicyclic systems to give you a different uh, molecule is also be seen in the next class. Thank you.